It's a pretty big thing. Yeah. You're not allowed to do it again. Yeah. We still have a lot of options. Let's go to the EXIB, which really lets them like, fly around the, yeah. fucking, the glizzy car. <laughs> it's definitely very, very good for sure. The glizzy mobile. That's a glizzy mobile, bro. That's what my haters be riding in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know, we're getting into game one, though. Sweet dreams definitely makes sense. Voice Ooh. characters definitely like this stage. It had to be a little bit of a misinput right there, right? Yeah, Looking absolutely. for the up air instead of that, that up special. Yeah, we can already see the big spacing war between both these two, right? Both back here. going back and forth in the air, throwing out these moves. At ledge, it's going to be really, really, really hard for. Look, Sky oh my god. Ahead. Oh Ooh. my god, straight back air is to finish that off. Okay, Pasta. There's mm. another great character, I think, Kusi, or player for this character, Kusi, right? Um, Rivals of Ether player. Yeah. Played them a bunch. They they showed me a lot of the slime cancel possibilities that this character has with those upper slime cancels. Yeah. Four throw. That, that was crazy. That was that. I'm gonna give you a free stock DI right there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that was crazy for sure. I got hit. <laughs> I feel it. Now the DI missed pretty dope for sure. Pasta, man. Up right now. Up Sky J kind of struggling a bit to get a foothold. But right now, though, getting a good advantage stay going. Oh, that should oh, no! Doesn't get the follow yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, good DI for sure. Of course, Recipe is fortunate because while he's a heavy character, he's also very floaty, so he's not getting as many as comboed as hard as other characters do by Tigre. I haven't played since the, I think it was the down throw nerf off of or back throw. It was one of those off of Ren and Stippy where you could just chain grab, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it was back throw, it was back throw. I used uh, to be able to chain grab. Are you still able know. to do that? Nah, you can't that's anymore. Gotcha. That's why. That's why we see Blazing Pasta go for, um, you know, just the forward throws and. The down throws as well to continue the, the advantage state. Yeah. The ledge trap looking like. I know Pasta is definitely a big strength of his is the ledge trapping game. So Sky J getting a lot of damage taken on him. Oh, scared of the vlog, dude. Maybe just getting that or taking that hit would have been a lot better because yeah. you can't really get too many follow ups after that, especially at that high of a percent. Um, kind of well, salute up eight. <laughs> oh, wake up. Down strong. I feel it. I feel it. Either way, though, Pasta in a good position, right? Three stocks of one and a heavyweight character against a light character like Tigre, man. It's very, very rough in game one for Sky J. Definitely took the early the early deficit and definitely paying for it right now. Especially with that DI on that, that throw. So that was rough, dude. I feel it, though. Definitely the throw mix-up, great for sure. I think Pasta thrown out a lot of different throws to sort of, like, get that. Right now, Sky J getting a little, a little pressure going right now. Okay, it's going back his way a little bit. I feel like, in general, in the neutral, I feel like Sky J want to be more offensive than he likes to against a lot of other people, because, like, uh, Pasta's, like, presence in the neutral has been just consistently just great in this first game, I feel like. And, uh, Ren and Stiffy, one of those characters that could really challenge, uh, El Tigre with a lot of hitboxes, you know, very fast moves, especially when space, yeah. very safe as well. Exactly. And then you have that minecart-esque side B, covering an option, so you can't, yeah. you can't really punish it too Whoa. well. Whoa! Pasta, what are you doing? The Glizzy Mobile. Bro is going crazy down there. But he's still alive, actually. I like the wrist. Okay. This might be it right here. Should be if he covers this. Yeah. Oh. Not yeah. quite the game. Not that, quite that, the game. That is indeed Blazing Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Getting the close up of his face. I feel it. I feel it. Back throw. Not quite enough to do it. Sky doesn't have these bursts. Either. He still has that in the back pocket in case he needs to live a bit longer. Um, one of those things that these players definitely need to have is that composure. As you saw when we got the close-up on Blazing Pasta, unfazed about that stock loss, yeah. continuing to keep this lead. And uh, let's see if we could make Sky J waste that slime. Continue okay. maybe an edge guard. Dude, I love seeing the neutral right there. You see the whip punch and the down tilt right there. That was crazy. Dude. With the down tilt, was that back throw? Yeah, yep. burst right there. Forcing the burst. Very close burst. Um, so not not able to get really an edge guard position. Asian side strong, I believe. Yeah, side strong right wow. there, bro. Very good whiff punish on that up air. Blazing pasta. Doing very well. Two stock game one. Uh, getting those early stocks. The back airs finishing off that first one. That that's yeah. what we're gonna be seeing a lot more of as well. Almost definitely. I feel like that was an interesting game one in that I feel like. When Sky J opted to be more offensive, it kind of worked out in his benefit, right? Yeah. I feel like in sort of like the sort of neutral with punishing game, Pasta was winning out a lot of the time. When Sky J was opting to just go in, I feel like it was working a lot better for him. So I can definitely see him sort of being a lot more offensive than he does in other matchups. For sure. The thing about it, though, Sky J needs to start landing these long combo extensions. Yeah. Um, make Ren and Stimpy really have to use all of their resources to recover. Uh, you saw Sky J going for, you know, the up special, the up strong. Barely missing it. You got to hit those. You really do. 
Yeah, I must have. Why are they looking at their badges so much? I'm sorry. Just like a random thing I noticed. Stage band. I have the stage loot. What? Yeah. Hold on. Wow, it does, dude. That's dude. Let's make big moves. That's that's, that's the new meta. That's, that's, <laughs> that is a big. That's a crazy big move, bro. <laughs> hey, we making them out here. You know what I'm saying? It makes it a lot easier for the players. You know, you don't have to go around asking for. What, what are the stages? What can exactly. I ban? I mean, are they all legal now? I thought they were all legal. Um, on the, uh, what's it called? They got the tournament, the, the little tournament stage, tab, yeah, right? They yeah. are. But it's good to know which one's a counter pick, which one's a Oh, maybe, maybe also rule sets like DSR, how many bans. Actually, yeah, that's true, that's true. Let me factor right there. Pasta up the game right here. We're going to FD version of the stage. Okay, I guess they gentlemen to do this rev. Maybe they didn't. Okay, never mind. Maybe, uh... <laughs> Not the right controls from Skyzy last game. Going for a quick button check, seeing if it's working out this time. No, I think they just accidentally picked the wrong version of uh, Harmonic, I think. Oh yeah, it has those the three platforms, right? Yeah. No more slants though, thankfully. Yes, that's a very, very big change for sure. <laughs> I, I hated that stage before the slants, uh, there, There's bro. a couple of characters that have some crazy slants. Huh? Oh yeah, for sure. I think I think uh, Patrick was one of them as well. I'm just very glad it did not get optimized, <laughs> honestly, because it got pretty crazy. That up air, so good from Ren and Simpy, being able to just get some free multi hits on your shield. Am I going left? Am I going right? Very good crossing move as well. But Sky J, like you were saying, doing really well with that advantage, continuing it this game. Probably could have gotten an up ex extension right there, but yeah. opting it to keep it safe with this. He goes for like less risk on the up B's and other T grades. You may need to go for more than gets possible specifically though. That's one of those things where are you going for the up B extension if you whiff, you know you're in a bad spot, or are you just looking for the reset um, and continue sharking? Sky J opting for the sharks until he's really confident on those up special confirms. Definitely. Oh, a big down zone. Oh, oh my sniff. god, the advanced so save from Pasta is so nice right now. Oh, almost gets a charge there right there, dude. Having to waste that slime though, uh, Pretty unorthodox. Yeah. Edge guard right there. Maybe slipping up a little bit. Getting this log hit though. Back air's coming. I smell it. Oh, let's see back to the ledge. I feel like that was more of one of the more obvious ones because it was, it was a lot higher above the ledge. Yeah. And you're not just going to land on stage with it, you know? Got to capitalize. Ooh. Taking that slime. Fourth throw? Wow. Oh, is that fourth throw or down throw? That was fourth throw. That was fourth throw. Fourth throw. Yeah, yeah. Very strong. That's the one that Skyja DI'd bad last time. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it was. This time DI'ing it well, but too high of a percent. Um, Blazing Pasta, keeping up this advantage. Glizzy Mobile activated. He could shine it. Yeah, he could shine the Glizzy Mobile if it even lets it go and uses a projectile. Yeah, Skyja, oh. throwing it got this kill with big log hitting a couple times. Up strong, but sealing it out. Down tilt, up strong. Uh, very good confirm from Skyja right there. You definitely have to land those. I yeah. like I like this pressure that he's doing with these shines this game. Not letting these projectiles come out for free anymore. Your projectiles are mine now. It's the game. Um, definitely a very good uh, awareness for Skyjay to do that for sure. Man, I think both these players just like they're so good at it when they get the advantage right against so many hits for sure. Um, going very back and forth on it. This advantage Ooh. state this game. Skyj uh, up strong. Uh, Ooh, reversal, making uh, sure he does so not miss it this time around. That was so sick, bro. <laughs> that was he for sure. Very, very good stuff from Skyj on that. That it covered it covered the DI, and then on top of it, DI mixed him this time. He, the first game, he did not like missing that. Yeah. Making sure he did not miss it that time around. Ledge scenario. Very good recovery. Yeah, good stall from Skyj to make sure he gets it back. Getting more and more extra credit on this stock as well. The instant downset after breaking the, the Glizzy was very, very smart. Um, continuing that advantage state. Sky J putting in work with these platforms as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we tell you he's very comfortable on this layout, the reverse battlefield <laughs> right there, yo! yo! <laughs> the flying guard in the back air was crazy. That was dope. That was dope. I did not know it had that many hits, but Glizzy Pasta definitely understanding his character a lot more than I do. Goes to show. Oh, great set. Big charge there, right there. Gets him off stage. Ooh, I, I love the drift. Made it back, yeah. Yeah, the drift bag was so smart right there, dodging the down tilts. Was Great patience though. right there on shield. Um, you know how good El Tigre is on shield, so he was just waiting for that second hit. Sky yeah. J opting for a laggier one. Blazing Pasta getting the punish on that. Ooh, these logs are just catching Sky J off guard so often. Purse didn't bait it though. Up strong? 
getting the stock. SkyJ with the lead yet again this game. SkyJ with his offense putting in a lot more work than, than he is game one. Getting those kill confirms, landing those hits that, that matter. Back air. Yeah, doing a good job of just mixing up the pacing, making it harder for Apostle to sort of play the patient game around. Bro, the four strong reverse, the stronger rent hit hidden too, though. That's smart. You know Blazing Pasta does not want to go the full length of the set. Got to end it here. Uh, SkyJ definitely showing some adaptation. So getting a little scary. Blazing Pasta still not out of it yet. Being able to SDI out of that, that side strong. Back. Oh, no follow-up off that though. Very, very close scenario. That might have been the autopilot from uh, pre-patch. Yeah. Going for those throws. Couple up tilts, back air. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Blazing Pasta always letting SkyJ hit him twice on shield. Wow, the patience coming around right now. Yeah, dude, it's so sick for sure, man. Pasta not biting on so many scenarios. It's so impressive for sure. So important as well. You cannot let SkyJ continue this advantage state. Showing out to be very, very strong this game. Oh, SkyJ Sharkin. Oh, the side B, though. Getting them on the way down. A big special. dive kick. Up special. Ooh. Not quite enough to KO. Oh, the side B to his back air. Uses the burst, too. No option. Is that why? Because oh, grab the Blazing Pasta. Is that an upset? I think they're like seed eight and nine, but damn, that was still crazy, though, that man. That was insanely <laughs> close. Wow, man. Yeah, that was the second game. definitely like craziest set of this whole pool so far, man. I think the key thing to look at right there is Blazing Pasta continuously keeping the patient composure at the end there. Yeah. Um, SkyJ, you know he wanted the kill. He wanted that game three. Very close. All it took was one more good hit. Here we go. The Glizzy Mobile. The, <laughs> the, the Glizzy Blender, if you will. Oh, uh, the zoom in was the crazy. Into the back here. Man. Very, very clean. Uh, platform tech chase with that as well. Yeah. No, that was very, very great stuff. Like I said, bro. He said, Pasta is his patience. Just so good that entire game for sure. I mean, I love the counter adaptation, by the way, with the more aggressive play. Just being able to, you said, bait, you said earlier, uh, bait out these sort of second moves that Sky Deal is going for every time. And yeah, you know, like. Altigra is really safe on shield as well, especially with the first hit. Normally mm -hmm. it's uh, forward air into something else, yeah. back air into something else, but looking for the laggier hit to punish, if you will. Um, every single time at the end there, Blazing Pasta coming in, taking the dub. That was definitely cleaning it up with the red and stimpy. Very clean ledge hog at the end as well. Again, patience. Not going for a hit. Rather understanding. Oh, you use all your options. Here, you have to recover. Yeah, Boom. exactly. That means uh, pasta going to the top 16 winner side. I was talking to him before too. He was a bit worried about how he was doing against Sky J. I'm like, look at that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't see too much of Sky J until recent. Yeah. Um, so you, you know, maybe he didn't really understand how much of a competitor he would have been. Yeah, Definitely absolutely. adapting the second game though. Very, very close compared yeah. to the first game.